And the paradigm shift that restorative justice calls us to inadvertently eschews uh, punitiveness by centering the person who has experienced the harm. So instead of starting with what law was broken, which is really a question of systems of control, the first question is, who was harmed? And what do they need is the second question. And then what creates the justice paradigm is the third question, which is, whose obligation is it to meet those needs? And so meeting the needs doesn't require pain. It may be experienced as uncomfortable. When I cause harm and it is my duty to make things right, uh, that might be uncomfortable. I may have to return the thing I've stolen. I may have to, and I may not want to do that, right? But it's not inflicting punishment for its own sake. And so this is the paradigm shift that restorative justice calls us to. It centers harms and needs and obligations. 